pretend to be toast with me? Mm. I'm toasting yeah. the toaster. I'm getting very hot. Where are you going? Where are you going, Bubba? I'm getting very hot. Tick tock, tick tock, up I pop. <laughs> Good morning. Hi guys, so if you guys watched the last vlog, um, this is gonna be my vlog where it was like a weekend vlog and I went to Miami or whatever the case may be and all that good stuff and I finally did this ponytail well last night I mean well if y'all would have seen well last night I was like sick I was like so sick head was pounding stomach was hurting I needed to throw up like I felt horrible and I believe it's because I don't know why my head was hurting my head was hurting since earlier that day when I went to the pool but I think I was feeling so nauseous because I had took a prenatal vitamin and i remember when i was pregnant with baby man's that they made me sick like if you take them on an empty stomach so i had not ate nothing since like that until that i hadn't ate anything since that morning so it was like 10 and then i took the prenatal and then i was feeling sick so i had to go to sleep i had to go so there was nothing else that i could do to make myself feel better i had to go to sleep <laughs> So I went to sleep early last night and then I woke up at, I woke up about 9.30 and told myself I'm going to work at 10. So I got dressed like I'm going to work, took a shower and all that good stuff and sat down and got to work at 10. Took a little break at 11, like a little 20 minute break and now it's 2.57. I finished editing. I finished doing a couple of things that I needed to do. I actually filmed today. I feel good today. So it's June 26th, the last week in June. It's going by so fast. I also even had time to like watch one of the podcasts of Soft Life Through Christ. In, in this episode, the thing that stood out to me the most was, you know, everyone always says, all you have to have is a faith is the faith of a mustard seed and God will work magic in your life. But what I did not know is that they said that all you have to have is the faith of a mustard seed and God, and that can move mountains. Or if you have the faith of a mustard seed, then you can move a mountain. I think that's what she said, something like that. And I didn't know that because if all you have to have is the faith of a mustard seed to move a mountain, I got so much faith in God. I just know that he's gonna work so great in my life. We'll see what, the, what this day consists of, but I'm gonna go and warm me up some food because I'm hungry. This boy, hey. Hey. Hi, sweetie. Say hey, Tinka. Say good morning. Say welcome to another vlog with my mommy. Okay, while baby Mia is in there with his sister, I am going to do my lashes. So I'm just going to use this lash, these lashes. Let's just go ahead and get into it. Of course, as always, I'm not doing no tutorial because, baby, I ain't got no tutorial for you. I barely know what I'm doing. Patience ain't no word to it too. Better ways to spend the time, but ain't no round in this cool. Leaving bitches on the side and from my mama, them too. You will let this nigga. I don't need friends. We all need. Yeah, caught up your neck to you 
When it comes to a nap, he gonna take it. I bet the camera ready. Don't play with him. This is us every day. Every morning I wake up and I have two kids in my bed. This one got her own room. You have your own room, but this is your bed. Why do you not sleep in your bed? What's wrong with your bed? Is mommy bed comfortable? <laughs> Here. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, guys. I'm so tired. Nine o'clock, and I went to bed early, so I honestly shouldn't even be tired, but I am. My camera's gonna die, of course. Help me with Chick Chunky Man when I need to work. You're supposed to be a rich. I told the turn that we gonna go to the store and pick out one thing. One thing. You one thing, not one food. Can I get the whole shelf? So that's like one thing. Fine. Yeah. You are. Yeah. All right, y'all. We getting brownies, but we can't decide. Uh, I want walnut kind. This is caramel, so I'm going. Y'all want a caramel one and then a peanut one? This is what we got, y'all. We're gonna go get baby man some baby snacks. So, let's go. So, this is the baby snack owl. I'm going to get these banana. Or should we get strawberry apple? I like strawberry apple, so we're gonna get those. That's this crawler. What does this one say? He okay, I know he's not eight months, but he likes these. Mommy gonna give you some chew sticks, guy. Some snackies. I'm guessing it's good. Yeah. 
made the brownies. Me and Dee Dee and all of us. Me and y'all made the brownies. Look at this brown lips. <laughs> Mama? So I need to know what I need to get. He's saying data. You don't hear him? No, I was talking to Titi. actually really super excited for this one to come because I've been using their products so this box is from Maylie's and they sent me previously like this scrub that you're supposed to use that's like supposed to make like your butt soft and then they also sent a lip plumper and then a brightening serum I I mostly use the brightening serum. I have yet to use the lip plumper and I use the um, the butt scrub, but I don't use it consistently, so I don't really know if it works. But I've been using the brightening scrub lately, consistency. I mean consistently, so we'll see. I'll let y'all know if that works. But they reached out to me and they wanted to send me some more stuff, so I looked at their site, y'all, and why do they have these items? Like, let me show y'all. Their packaging is so cute. So they just make basically like self-care items. And didn't they write so neat on this card? Like we got this body cream. It's called Get Showy. It just says to apply in the dry areas. Let me show y'all what it. Oh my gosh, y'all! It is pink. It's pink. Oh my gosh, how freaking cute is that? Isn't that cool? Mm, and it smells good. Mm. Okay. Pink lotion? I don't know. I'm, I'm starting to become like a fan of pink. This is what I was really excited, excited for. So they got this booty enhancing mask. Now, I was looking on there and I was reading the results and people was posting pictures with their results and it was kind of looking like it was given, okay? It's called Be Thick. Be Thick. And you're supposed to 
apply it all over your booty area and massage it and use twice daily and it's supposed to enhance it a little bit now okay of course people's results wasn't like okay flat and giving real big but it was giving something so i'm excited to try it oh my god it smells so good uh, their products smell so delicious like and then the next one y'all is called be perky okay now of course guess what this is for your breast and it's supposed to lift and firm your boobs. And I, if now if these people weren't lying, they had pictures and they was looking a little plumper, a little. So I was like, I need that real bad. So really, y'all look at him. Kason, you got mommy hair? Okay. We're gonna see. Thank you, Maylies, for sending me these goodies. They sent him some more sunscreen, which we literally use every time we go to the pool. And then they sent him some all over ointment. And y'all, his hair is thinner in the back, I guess, from like laying back. So I'm gonna order him a do rag. But I've been putting grease in his head because. I don't know, I like how it made his hair look. So I guess I'm gonna start using that in his hair and I'll let y'all know how it works out for us because his hair has been the same since he's been born. Like, it's been the same. <laughs> but it's thinning in the back, so. So yeah. Hey, Tanka. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, man. All right, y'all. We're about to get back to sorting these clothes out. So, see y'all in a minute. Y'all, as I sit here and go through these boxes, I'm noticing that I am a very impulsive shopper. Like, when I buy something, I feel like I have to buy all of the colors that I want. So I'm going through my shoes right now. And we got a couple of things to give away. I'm talking about should I get these away? It's literally nothing on there. But I haven't worn them. Don't know where I will end the heel hurt so bad, but they're so cute. These are so cute, but they do not look right on my feet. These shoes do not be looking right on my feet. I don't know why, but they're so freaking cute. These, I bought these. And then I bought two pairs of these shoes that look just like. So cute, I love me a good do. Hey y'all, so I'm just sitting here catching me a little vibe. It's well, I'm probably gonna get into bed about one. But I came on the vlog because y'all know I take y'all through everything, okay? Because you know everything is a process with me. Me and the kids are going to Houston probably for the summer. I decided that I wanna just go down there. I think that I need a break. I think the kids need a break. And I'm like, well, I don't have to be confined to this house. I love my house. It's just, um, just being here, you know, and not really having like my loved one and um, you know, I don't have to be confined here because my job allows me to work from anywhere. So I'm gonna go down there, but while I'm down there, I don't wanna just be in the house, but I'm gonna go down there and I was like, well, while I'm down there, I should just look into getting a bottle girl job. Y'all know when, before I had Chunky, I was going to do the bottle girl thing and then I got pregnant. So now I was like, well, let me just try it again. I feel like it'll be good for me to like network and learn how to be around people, but like we don't have to be friends, best friends, kick it, cool, kumbaya and all that good stuff. But like, you know, just learn how to be around people, be cordial with people and all that good stuff. So anyways, I was like, well, let me start looking at clubs now. 
even though I leave Sunday because I'm like I don't want to just go down there and go to the clubs because I don't know like it's just different I'm not used to Houston like when I went to Atlanta for the bottle girl job I'm like used to Atlanta you know I've, I've been in those clubs before so and I wasn't I was I wasn't by myself when I did that so now I'm like well let me reach out through DM because that's what I did last time as well before I went down there and I reached out to this club and I didn't know if they was gonna run me back or not but I was like well let me look this seemed like a cool little club I was looking into it looking at it on TikTok and they didn't run me back so they wrote me back and told me to write this person I guess the promoter so I was like well I don't want to write him like tonight because it's late even though he's probably up like regarding a job I'm gonna write him in the morning well the club ended up writing me again and was like um they sent his page they sent him my page and he's interested so i just wrote him and we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes i know y'all been itching for me to get out to houston so if i do get this job y'all better come and book with your girl and come hang out with me period and this is not something i want to make a career out of i'm just looking to do this for the summer but we don't know depending on how it go y'all honestly might just be like <laughs> i might be what is so if Georgia's a peach and Florida's an orange, what is Houston? I don't know, that's a good question. But anyways, I don't know. I'm just I'm just talking, but I don't know y'all. We're gonna see where it goes. But I just have to come and tell y'all because by the time y'all see this, I already be in Houston. <sighs> I feel good. I feel good. I think I need this change, change of scenery. Then I'll be able to like get out and go out. A little bit i mean i really go out to the club and stuff like that but if i'm working in the club then that's even better because then i won't have to go to the club because i'm already be at the club and i'm gonna be making money you feel me? um once i get over my fear i feel like i could be good and i feel like honestly you can fake it till you make it anyway have y'all ever seen that movie with the girl i mean not the movie the netflix show with the girl I think her name was like Anna Delaray or something like Anna, Anna something and she like faked her way in New York and got really big got investors to invest in her I mean she finessing these folks the only downfall was she started living too far outside of her means and she got way into debt she was almost there almost there so why does Nick say send me your experience do I lie? <laughs> Good morning. It is Friday, June 30th. The last, the last day of the month before it's June 1st. And y'all, your girl is just blessed beyond measures. Thank you, God. Breaking on the low, mobbing on the low, walking on the low. Smoking on the low, I still been plotting on the low, scheming on the low. The fourth stay from perfect, like everyone I know. I just been drinking on the low, mobbing on the low, walking on the low, smoking on the low. I still been plotting on the low, scheming on the low. The fourth stay from perfect, like everyone I know. I just been drinking on the low, mobbing on the low. Smoking on the low, smoking on the low. I still been plotting on the low, scheming on the low. The fourth stay from perfect, like everyone I know. I just been. TikTok. I got so many bills, bitch. July 1st is the first of the month. Okay, just kidding. But yes, it's the first of the month. And I didn't even write my July goals out. I'm slipping. So I guess that's what we'll be doing in a second. What we will what we will be doing in a second. But I have to clean my house. It's Saturday. I have to clean my house. Pack and get myself together. Like my nails, I gotta wax. I have to do my hair. Like I have so much to do. So y'all, it's fun to watch me do all of that. I started yesterday, but then I stopped because I ended up going to eat, 
and go into the pool and all of that good stuff but um yeah we're back when i started cleaning up yesterday in the bathroom like my bathroom i started like unpacking because i said that if i want to start really appreciating what i have living in my purpose and you know manifesting greater things i have to be able to live in my present you know and for the longest i didn't unpack my boxes because i don't know maybe it just feels surreal you know and like i don't know it just kind of feels like oh what if this can get like took from under me so i never unpack my boxes got rid of the boxes just like a what if i may need them right well i said fuck that i'm done living like that it's been what two months i've been in my house and i'm just ready to start really living in my purpose and you know appreciate what i have I was going to be straightening my hair and putting some clippings in y'all but i have a wig that i need to do which y'all why did i think that someone was still in my packages i thought this whole time they were sending my packages to another building y'all they've been putting my packages in the locker so i had like three packages in the locker that i needed to get that i hadn't got one was in there for like over 30 days and i'm calling the people like where's my packages like <laughs> Like, they're trying to, they're like, well, we delivered it. It says it was delivered. And I'm like, it says it was delivered to my front porch. It's no package on my front porch. So where are you delivering it to, you know? I was sizzled. I'm going to pack this just in case because I don't know if I want to do it here or if I'm going to do it in Houston because I don't know if I'm going to come back home for the party. Um, I don't know. I don't even know if I want to come back home, like, because I'm already coming back at the end of the month for a baby shower. So, it's just like, I don't know, I need this break to really get my mind together and to have some distance between people. So, yeah, I don't know. But if we do do the birthday party, I want to get this painted with Mickey Mouse, okay, on the back. And he could wear some forces. I think it would be so cute. So, like... Maybe he can have Mickey Mouse pet painted on the back in like six months or like half birthday or something. I don't know. I would have to find someone that could paint it on there. But I got this from Walmart, y'all. It was $14. It's so cute. It is a little thin, but that's perfect for like hot summer weather. And then he got this baby wash. It's Johnson Johnson, but it smells so good. And I like when he smells good. So we got this one. Because they had other ones, and I didn't know which one to try out. But I have tried that one already. So I was like, let me just get that one. And uh, I've been talking so much, y'all. I'm so tired. My head hurt. And I got to clean up. So I'll see y'all when I start cleaning. Because we got a lot to clean up.
What's the point in waiting anymore? Cause girl, I've never been more sure The baby is you This ring here represents my heart And everything that you've been waiting for Just say it, I do Because I can see us holding hands Walking on the beach, our toes in the sand I can see us on the countryside Sitting on the grassland side by side You can be my baby Let me make you my lady Girl, you amaze me Ain't gotta do nothing crazy See, all I want you to do is be my love So don't give away My love So don't give away My love So don't give away And another woman that can take your spot My love So don't give away My love So don't give away My love Another woman that can take your spot, my love So, yep, we're in Mississippi right now. So, we're in Gulfport. And we'll be in Louisiana in a little bit. But, Chunky Bay is doing so good. So, proud of my Chunky me on your first road trip. And you got a long first road trip. This is first. They mean first road trip to Houston, Texas. And him is doing such a great job. He watched his blippy. Him, give him mommy some kisses and I have some cheesecake. I have a fun. You having fun, my bubba guy? And the rest of the kids are in the gas station getting snacks because we just stopped to pee. I hope we don't stop again for a minute because I'm ready to get there. Ride the I know we. Different things than happening, schemes and packaging. In a one night for shows, I'm juggling. Roll like the ocean, my boat, I'm paddling. Shout out Shinapella, that's my bro, my family. Frozen trends. When it comes to money, I did go. Alright, y'all, we stopped to get um, food. So I got Arby's. First time trying Arby's, they're high. They're high. They're expensive. But I got the chicken. Club. And um, that was like the only thing that they had over we at. And I'm starting. And the loaded fries. Look at Boy. Alright, guys, we have made it. We're about to put my stuff together. We're going to. 
take a shower and probably get ready for bed. Punch that man back there. You see right there. And yeah. So that's gonna be it for this vlog. We're closing the vlog out. Thank you for tuning in. I love you guys. I'll see you guys on the next vlog. You're closing the vlog.